Hey guys and welcome back to another Unranged 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over replication once again and in this one we're going to be replicating sprinting and basically the movement of that so the player's speed actually changing and increasing and decreasing as well obviously as well as the animations themselves so we're going to be replicating all of this good stuff. Now the animations do automatically when we do replicate the movement speed so we're basically just going over the movement speed today as everything else just falls into place with that. So let me hit play and show you what we're going to make today. So as you can see here we've just got two players in here this is walking. If I were to walk past this character on the right, you'll see that we're just walking like this. And if I were to now sprint, you'll see it's sprinting on both screens. And the same goes with both players and characters like this as well. So this is what we're going over and setting up today, creating a replicated sprinting movement system. You might notice the walking animation is a little bit janky. That's just because I'm using the default animations coming with the mannequin and I'm using on a very low speed. So it might not look amazing. You obviously just mess about those to get the perfect for you and your own custom animations with a different character will probably look a lot better as well anyway that is nothing to do with the code that we're going to do today so like i say this is what we're going over creating today so without further ado let me delete this code and i'll show you how i've done it so the first thing we want to do is we obviously want to open up our character blueprint as that is where we're going to be doing the code for sprinting so you may already have some sprinting code already we're just going to modify that or you can delete it and restart with what i'm doing here so for me that's going to be content third person bp blueprints third person character but for you it could be third, first, or whatever you've named it. So what we're going to do in here is right click and get our sprinting button. Now you might have created an action mapping for this, or you might not. I'm just going to get the left, not left sprint, sorry, left shift button, not that one. We need the actual keyboard event here. And we're going to come back to this later on. So I imagine what you have now is probably out of pressed and released or into a flip flop. You were just setting the movement speed or the max walk speed. We're going to do it slightly differently. So what we need to do is underneath this, we're going to right click and add a custom event. And we're going to name this one sprint on server. Now you can name this sprint or change speed or change max walk speed, whatever you like, but this is just going to replicate sprinting in this example. And it's on the server because what we want to do now is change replicates from not replicated to run on server. So as you can see, it now will execute on the server. On this, I'm going to add an input and I'm just going to name this one sprinting. I might not be able to because that's why I named it last time. So I just won't put a question mark like so. So sprinting, again, that's just because I've done it before, but you probably won't have that issue. Let's see if I can close it, reopen it, or fix it. It's just sometimes it's in the memory, which is why it doesn't allow you to create it again. So it won't, but that's fine. Um, so I'm doing that just so that I can then very easily tell the code whether or not we are or aren't sprinting. So something you can do instead of a Boolean is just input the max walk speed you actually want, but I'm just gonna go with sprinting so we don't have to input the speed every time. Then underneath this, we're gonna right click add another custom event naming this sprint on client and this one is now going to as it sounds do it on the client so we're going to change it from not replicated to not run on owning client but to be multicast so it runs on all clients and the server as well so you see we have execute on server and execute on all then we're again going to just get the sprinting input into here as well so yeah, it allows me to do it on that one but not this one which is very strange so we have sprint on server and sprint on client with the inputs in like this. Sprint on server, what we're going to do is call function sprint on client, connecting in both the sprinting booleans there. So we're going to be passing through the correct values and sprint on client is where we're going to actually do our sprinting code. So what I've done is I've got a boolean here to know whether we are or aren't sprinting. So I want to input that into a branch. So I'm going to hold down B, left click to get a branch with that being the condition and just connecting in there like so. So now true means that we are sprinting, so we do want to be sprinting, which means we want to be increasing our max walk speed. False means we're no longer sprinting, so we want to be decreasing it and resetting it back to normal. So we're going to grab our character movement here and do our normal sprinting code now, which is just going to be set max walk speed. Connecting that into true there and duplicating it, connecting it into false as well, so we can set it for both walking and sprinting like this. Now my running speed is going to be 600, and my walking speed is going to be 150. You can obviously change these values to get them perfect for you, but those are the ones which I'm going with as they fit best with the animations and the character that I'm currently using, which is obviously the mannequin default character and default animations. But again, obviously change this for your character. The values do not matter. Obviously just set it up for how you want to sprint. So we'll compile and save, and that is now the replication part of the sprinting done. So what's gonna happen is we're going to sprint on the server which is then going to sprint on the client, which is then going to actually change the speed. So we are now sprinting. And again, the animations rely on this value of speed here. So when we change that replicated, it will work in the animation blend space as well. 
And again, we're passing through the values through the different events. So now, how do we actually call this? The same way that we would normally do our sprinting code. So off of pressed for left shift, what I'm going to do is sprint on server, and I'm going to tick the sprinting there, and released, I'm going to sprint on server as well, and I'm going to leave it unticked, so we're no longer sprinting. So again, we're going to sprint on server, which will sprint on client, which will actually change the speed, and that goes for both of them as well. And again, it is that simple, that is now all we need to do. So we're just basically passing it through the server, then through the client, then we're doing it. And that is now going to replicate it to work on all players. So let's hit compile, save, and hit play to test this out. Again, I'm just going to do it with two players at the moment. However, this will work for as many as you want. So let me walk over here, let's actually sprint. And you'll see that we now actually have a sprinting set up fully replicated like this. So we can walk around and sprint as well on both players working perfectly. So we have the movement speed and the animations all working and changing perfectly like this. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we want to do. We've set it up so we now replicate our sprinting which includes the movement speed and the animations as I've just gone through a second ago. So again, obviously without replicating it, what will happen is the player will just continue to walk and that will be on both the client and server, it just won't work at all. So replicating it means that we can now sprint in online multiplayer as well. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.